give you a purple nerf ball. How are you feeling today, Riley? Fine. Don't know why it's 72. I think that's ridiculous. I think it's perfect okay. running weather. I think about 40 is perfect. 40 ideal perfect running weather. What's up? I'm about to run. Uh, I'm about to go run my ADMs after this. Yeah, I'm full length. I, bro, imagine being injured. That's I'm, I'm not injured though. I'm full healthy. Look, look at these legs. Yeah. 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 You know it's gonna be 80 Thursday. 80 is a ridiculous number. I think he's worried about the weather. I am. I don't, I don't want to run in summer weather. And you know February. We've been here for 30 minutes. Like we're not even at the kickups yet. Can we kick your leg up? Look at him getting that run in. Oh, Buckwell! Hey, Buckwell. You know, my coach used to make us do this ab workout called Seven Minutes in Heaven, and I hated it. Hated it. It's the worst. I still hate it. My favorite ab workout, Core X, Jay Johnson. It's wild. The Rockies at the end really are killers. I gotta start doing that more. Are you doing extra stuff? My coach told us to do this too. And to trust the process and to take our breaks in our easy days when they're easy. Today was a lift day. Yeah, not a grab ripper X day. Alright, since we were doing the first four out of two, we had a aerobic threshold. Fartlets. Heart speed there. I'm in the Nova Blast. 65 for the first one, 65 for the second one. All according to the plan. That was hard. You getting a haircut? What are you gonna do to it? I just I have a strategy. Um, since it's long and I don't like taking haircuts, I'll just cut it short, ish, and then I'll just let it grow back for like months. I think my last haircut was in September. A long time ago. Well, I hope it works out. Hopefully. We're off today. I'm very bored. I'm kind of just laying here. Don't get anything better than doing. Stretching a bit and rolling out, but it's not it. Two days left. Soon, soon. Yo, that tan line's crazy. <laughs> to me, to me, come on! Solo!
Look, there's somebody coming We're locked out. You're not that important. My boyfriend thinks so. Well, that's bias. Okay, time. Alright, my name is Fabian. Uh, I've been running for like a year, you know. This thing, because I can never sprint. Like, I'm assuming most of us here can't compete with them. You know, these are the ones. So, I'm a good leader. I consider myself a good leader because, you know, when I, when I, when coach says to do something, like, I'm going to do it. Like, you know, I like to, I like to laugh. Like, you'll see me. I like to laugh. You know, I'll laugh. I'll giggle. I'll see you. I'll go to the But it's like, no, we're locking in. Like, you got to lock in. Like, you got to warm up before a race. You got to warm up. Like, you can't be like, on your phone or wait, right before a race you can't be hiding you can't be so and also if you like, like i will motivate you like you're mid race like you're finishing up 50 meters like you're you're gonna hear me like you're gonna hear me hear me on the finish line with you i mean like i'm gonna be like good job like i'm gonna i'm gonna come and be like good job good job if, I, if, I, if i'm not racing right there yeah now, i feel like it's a good leader with those you know and i like running a lot you know i like my teammates I'll, um I can't, I can't, uh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> yeah, baby! Yeah, baby! Yeah, baby. Three years back for, I'd consider it three, the freshman year got cut off by COVID. I've been, I've held captain leader positions before, and I think I've done a pretty good job. Uh, I think I'd be a very good leader, I'm a good role model, and I can definitely motivate you uh, after a race, before a race, during a workout, literally any time I need to motivate you. I really do put in the work. I come to track, I run the miles, I put in the hard work. You just gotta keep going, you know? Nothing's easy, but if you put in the hard work, you don't want to prove it. You know? I think I'm a great leader by example, because I come every day with results. Ooh. Okay, okay. Step on the line, you know, test up and just run the race, you know. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm also an AP student and I'm working in psychology. Uh, I run to escape and really just because I run. Honestly, I think if everybody would be a runner, everybody would be a runner. I think that everybody should be. Good days through bad days. I think to be great means to show your 100% every day of what you have that day. It's not to necessarily be the best every day, but give your best that you can. Run and just be our best and try our hardest. So I hope you fit me, Captain. Thank you. You have to be a little crazy. You'd have to be, yeah, you'd have to have a few screws loose. I mean, look at me. Um, <laughs> this sport is everything. It's taught me how to believe in myself, which is something that I've struggled with since I've been like, super little. <laughs> uh, um, I had that my freshman year in the form of uh, the three seniors we had, and that really helped me to, that, that made me want to be great. I want to be that for somebody. I want to be that rabbit that leads the pack and gets everyone. I believe that each and every one of you has something special in you. And that should be encouraged because y'all are some of the hardest working people I've had the privilege to be. Um, and, you know, this family, the family that I've been seeing every day for the past three years has given me so, so much. And I can only hope to begin to get back because it would be a little rude for me now. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I'm going to put this down because I'll fidget with it the whole time and that'll be nice. So, if you do not know me, I'm Emily Karmanaki. Some of you may not know me because I'm in and out of track practice. I'm still here, I promise. I'm just in the weight room biking. Um, but that's also something important to note. Um, I'm not going to go into the whole spiel of like injury and whatever, but I am going to touch on it a little bit. I think I do have the unique perspective of helping coach you guys through injury because I have had to deal with it, unfortunately, and I wouldn't wish it on any of you guys. But I think it's also something great that I have that I can help you with. I can help you get past that, um, work through that, anything like that. Um, 
And I just want you to know that I, I will not be with you guys every single practice. I won't be here always to lead you through drills or stretch you at the end of practice like what I used to. Um, some of you upperclassmen might know. You might remember that. Um, but lowerclassmen, you might not have had that. Um, and that's okay because I can guarantee you I'll be with you at every single meet I can. Everything I'm running in, I'll be there right with you. I'll be there to support. Uh, I got you. I will help you. I will encourage you. I have been running since fifth grade, which isn't as long as some people, but still, testament, fifth grade, I've stuck with it. Uh, for that, I did gymnastics, but it's not important. I kind of quit that. <laughs> um, so uh, that's basically my testament to how much I love running. I've stuck with it all these years, and it's something that I was not willing to give up through injury. Even when the days were looking dire, and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm never going to run again. You will. You will always run again. If you believe in yourself, you have the confidence you'll get there, trust me. Basically state that this year, um, if you weren't here for cross country, one of my cross country goals is being a captain. Be to grow myself and um, basically be able to help you guys be great. I think being a leader is about making you guys feel good, but I think even more so it's about making you guys be great. So I'm not always gonna be here to make you guys feel good, but I will be here to make you guys be great. That being said, that's my captain. <laughs> Oh yeah. He has. Also, is Riley sing and tell me you know with you? Yeah. Okay. My brother. This is my brother. <laughs> I used to, I, I, you recording this man? No. Because you know that it's fat. And it been what it been. Pulling his phone like you'll me up. Enough without you. If you don't speak, does that mean we're through? Don't like sneaky shit that you do.